on today's menu, a delicious recipe that will guarantee you a real rice day. Japanese style, fried rice. Lei Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Now there are a million different amazing ways to cook fried rice and that really is just the beauty of it. But before we get started, a big thank you to Tourism Shizuoka Japan for sponsoring today's episode. Shizuoka Prefecture is home to Japan's most iconic mountain, Mount Fuji, and that is conveniently served by the Shinkansen or the bullet train between Tokyo and Kyoto. The western part of Shizuoka is home to Lake Hamana or Hamanako in Japanese. The lake is located just west of Hamamatsu, the largest city in Shizuoka, and it is the midpoint between Tokyo and Kyoto. This lake region is a popular destination for marine sports, cycling, and a wide array of outdoor activities. Bring about two cups of water to boil. This is some amazing, delicious Japanese kombu, also known as the king of all seaweed because it's really nice, thick, and really delicious. It's going to add that bit of a salty, oceany flavor to the fried rice, but first we're going to rehydrate this with some hot water. Rehydrate the kombu for five to 10 minutes. Half a red onion, diced. Seventy five grams of Napa cabbage, chopped. One small carrot, diced. Two sticks green onion, finely chopped. When the kombu is rehydrated, chop into small pieces. Right, so the kombu is definitely not traditional, but hey, never be afraid to try something new. Seaweed is widely used in Japanese cooking, and some of the most common ones are kombu and nori. Now that all the ingredients are ready to go and we're just about ready to cook, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Shizuoka or Lake Hamana in Japan. Lake Hamana was once a freshwater lake which is now connected to the Pacific Ocean. At the south side of the lake, there are seaweed farms dating back to the 1800s, and Hamanako Nori is known for its vibrant green color and strong aroma of the ocean. Harvest season is from November to April, and you can find all kinds of seaweed in the local markets from dried sheets, raw seaweed, and sukudani, which is a seaweed that's boiled in a sweet soy sauce. Nonstick pan. Medium heat. Three tablespoons grapeseed or vegetable oil. Saute the onions and carrots for a couple of minutes. Napa cabbage. Green onion and kombu. Saute for a couple of minutes. Half cup edamame and half cup corn. Saute for about a minute. One and a half cups leftover sushi rice. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Saute for two to three minutes and it's done. Plate 
plate. Sprinkle with some black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. You can now make this delicious plate of fried rice with absolute confidence. Man, I love fried rice. Just look at all those colors. Amazing. Mm. Man, that is delicious. I mean, really, really just such a treat. It's so beautiful with the amazing colors. And it really just tastes really fresh. Has the amazing kind of crunchiness from the edamame and the sweetness from the corn goes really well with the savory kind of saltiness from the soy sauce as well as the delicious bit of a salty oceany flavor from that kombu and you get a little bit of that unique texture from the kombu as well just really really delicious the napa cabbage just kind of makes friends with everyone in there adds a little bit to that freshness as well the sesame seeds just adds a little bit of that crunch the freshness from the green onions and like I said it's definitely not traditional to put kombu and fried rice it's just kind of unheard of but really adds a unique kind of oceany flavor to the fried rice man just really delicious absolutely love love cooking fried rice and like I said there are a million different amazing ways to do so definitely don't be afraid to try some new combinations not only is fried rice super fun to cook, it also makes your house smell amazing. By the way, if you'd like to further explore Tourism Shizuoka and the online Mount Fuji and green tea experiences with Arigato Japan tours, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check those out. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.